Today we are going to the Idaho this Old Penitentiary. This is the historic district. You see a lot of the old buildings. This is the guard dogs on duty. <laughs> kind of a cool looking place. We're gonna walk all the way down there to get inside. Kind of a cool looking building. What does it say? Let's see what it says. Warden's house. So this was the warden's house. It looks like they're renovating it some. There's a p people inside too. I don't know if you can go inside, but. Yeah, two people just went in. Oh, did they? completed in 1902, $3,100, because they used inmate labor. The bishop's house. It's closed, so can't go inside. And a lizard. This was moved here to this site. It was built in 19 in 1889 for Idaho's Episcopal bishops and moved to this site in 1975. But it's closed. A sally port that was added in 1931 to help move goods and inmates in and out of the facility. There was a lot to see in this place. <laughs> Cat in the window up there. Can you see it? I don't know. Can you see it way up there? Not a real cat. It's a wooden cat. <laughs> and Tom. <laughs> we'll look at that on the way out. This is the yard. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks kind of like a yard. I don't know if it's the prison yard, but it's a yard. <laughs> Dining hall inmate George Hamilton designed, designed the building to provide natural light in the basement. Committed suicide the day after his release. Yeah. <laughs> he was let out. A bakery, plunge bath, storerooms were located in the basement while the kitchen and the dining room took up the ground floor. No loafing in this area, it says over there. This one is way more put together than the one in Wyoming was. Wyoming was just, it needed help. I mean, this one needs help too, but at least they tell you what everything is. Signs back here. I don't know what they are. Six feet from freedom. Just some of the people, I guess, that were in the and their stories. That's pretty cool. Wow. 
Madison. She was from Madison. Age 50. She was born in Utah. She was a Mormon. She got six months to three years for adultery. There's my mugshot. They are very informative here. You could definitely spend quite a bit of time in this place. This is the trusty dorm. We were in there. Hospital burnt down. This building originally served as the prison hospital and leisure until 1971 riot. And you can see there's another guard house. It's left of the building. I don't think you can go in there. It's closed, so I don't know if you can look through the little shirt factory. Laundry. Big old laundry machines. And I do mean old. I'm going to throw Dad in the washing. I have a weapons exhibit down here. And bathrooms. And a bench to sit down on for old people. And that's the end of that you get to see here. <sighs> Pretty good exhibits in here. Like I said, you could be here quite a long time. <sighs> Women of the West. <sighs> Like a, in in a trench during the war. Like I said, I'm only giving you bits and pieces here. Mansell's house for Whew. two T 
tiers, two floors. This is the barber cell. Four men to a cell, not very big. Bigger than the ones we saw in Wyoming though. That, about twice the size. It's the guard access between the two cells. One here and one upstairs, I would assume. But look, here's the other side. There is an upstairs. Oh, well, you have to go to the first floor first. Huh? Okay. This is the maximum security block. It has an indoor gallows located on the second floor. They were kept separate. Maximum security cells, way smaller. Yeah, four guys in there. area, but I'm just not into it today, guys. Maybe next time. I made it upstairs, but you're gonna have to wait until I quit spinning. I got, it's very warm in here. Raymond Snowden's cell. Whoever that was. There's to the drop room. And the gallows is over here. And there's the floor. It's hard to see because there's so many fingerprints. That's where the gallows was. It says the condemned man stood on the trap door with his hands and feet bound. A hood would have been placed over his head. The noose suspended from above was placed around his neck and an executioner pulled the lever opening the doors. This was used till 1978. And this is where the drop was. For the gallows. At 12:20 a.m. on October 18th, 1957, two doctors pronounced Raymond Snowden dead in his room. Oh, in this room. First, outside the double doors, transported his body to the Boise Funeral Home. He was buried in the prison cemetery the next day. This is the original territorial prison. Here. From 1892, and there were two men in each cell. Oh. All right, guys, we're going to walk back to the car now because I've had enough. It's very warm. These are the youngest ones they've had in this prison. They start at 11. Jimmy was 11. Second degree murder. <laughs> wow. This one here, Clarence, was 17. I don't know what injuring a public jail is, but he was in prison for it. So, <laughs> kind of strange. These are the young ones. Oh, he, he attempted to escape. He was in here for robbery. Oh, okay. So, I think these are to open and close the cell doors. Yeah. Okay. That was our trip to the Idaho Penitentiary, Old Penitentiary. Uh, one last view. We're going to get in the car and head for... 
the Bird of Prey Park. Well, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. World Center for Birds of Prey. Here we go. Bald Eagle. It's looking at me. I think I'm dinner. My poor stomach is making terrible noises. They have a California condor breeding program here where they breed condors and release them to the wild. That is not one they're going to release because he's stuffed. <laughs> There's a peregrine falcon. And here's some, a hat box that they put the juveniles in to train them. So far, they've released 4,000 peregrine falcons back into the wild. Different types of eggs. are included in raptors as are eagles, falcons, and of course vultures. I was really surprised I didn't know that a condor is a vulture. Pictures of the breeding boxes for the condors. 